Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up parental controls on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Then we swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings icon. Next in the settings page, we scroll down and then tap on digital well-being and parental controls. Now in here, we scroll down and tap on parental controls. And it said here, add content restrictions and set other limits to help your child balance their screen time. So tap on that and then tap on get started. Now choose whether this is a child or teen device or a parent device. Now in our case, we're going to select parent device, then tap on get family link and then choose Google Play Store or Galaxy Store and then tap on always. Next, tap on the install button and wait for the phone to install Google Family Link. Now it said here, uh, do you want to try Google Play Pass? So I'm going to choose not now. Okay, here I'm going to tap on open. Then choose your account. And if you already signed into Google, just tap on the continue button. Then tap on the allow button. And that's it. We have now successfully set up your uh, the, con the family control link or the parent control for the parent device. If you want to add in your child's device, you can go ahead uh, on your child device and follow this, uh, the same step. And uh, this time you want to choose uh, the child uh, account. Now the family link parental control is very extensive and it gives you a lot of options. Now if you tap on the menu here, you can see at the moment it's showing Bob's account out here. So that's Bob. If I go in, I can, uh, in family link, I can add in child. So I can create another account for another child. Uh, here said, does your child have an account? If you tap on yes, then you can go to the device and sign in to their child's account. If you choose no, so if we go here and choose no, then we will have the chance and opportunity to create a new account uh, for your child. So in here, you can tap on next. And here we can give a, a name. So here, Jane and then IT Jungle. So this is just an example only. So uh, and tap on next. And then we have to enter their uh, date of birth and gender. So I'll put in the information and tap on the next button. And it said here the child must be under 13 for you to manage their account. So here I will put in 2015 and then tap on next. And in here it said choose uh, choose how Jane will sign in. So choose an account name basically. So here we can say Jane 80 Jungles at Gmail and then tap on next. And then we create a strong password for the account. Here put in the password and then tap on next. And then it gives you some information. Now just go through it and then agreed and then tap on I agreed. And here say use your pass key to confirm it's really you. So just tap on the continue button. Then we tap on next. And now it is creating the account. Okay, so we have uh, successfully created a, an account for Jen. So you need to get another mobile device and then sign in the account. So on another, on another Android device, just sign in to uh, Jen's account. And from here, you will be able to manage uh, the device so you can manage the content. So because we have created a new account and we haven't signed in, so uh, limited information will be displayed here, limited functionalities that you can control. But once you sign into their device and you will be able to control more apps and more settings. And in here, you can tap on account settings and then manage the account settings, account info, controls for sign-in, controls for third-party apps, location settings, privacy settings, and others. And that's it. Finally, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen.